Welcome to our daily rosary meditation. Let's begin in the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Let's call to mind all those we've promised to pray for. One way of describing beauty is to say that it's the unification of what is naturally separate. We love the thrill of seeing two things which we don't normally associate with each other coming together. Each one of the arts show us this unification of what is separate, this convergence of opposites. In music, for example, we love a duet in which the woman's high voice blends with the man's low voice. Or in stories, we have the basic fairy tale form of a poor farmer's boy marrying a princess or a poor housemaid marrying the king's son. Or for example, in color, artists have designed a color wheel so that they can combine colors from the opposite ends of the spectrum. When the division, the separation, between two unrelated or distant things has been overcome, we have an insight into the primordial unification of reality, which we call beauty, which is why nothing is more beautiful than the Christ child in the manger at Bethlehem because nowhere else is division so absolutely overcome and united. Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be your name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women. Blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women. Blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, Pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women. Blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women. Blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women. Blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women. Blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women. Blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women. Blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women. Blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women. Blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, as now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Oh, my Jesus. Forgive us our sins, save us from the fires of hell. Lead all souls to heaven, especially those most in need of thy mercy. When Jesus comes, he not only brings together what's naturally separate, but what is naturally separated to an infinite degree. He brings together the infinite, all-powerful God with the weak but lovable goodness of human nature. All through the ages of Christianity, we've celebrated this beauty, this shocking bridging of what's infinitely separate when we celebrate the nativity scene and the God in the manger. All the Christian hymn writers celebrate the strangeness of it all the woman who gives birth to her creator, the master of the universe who looks up at the ox and the ass, 
the all-powerful one allowing his arms to be wrapped up tightly in swaddling clothes. This is the supreme moment of beauty because it is the supreme moment of union between creator and creature. It's when God shows us that he's become one of us. Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be your name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women. Blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women. Blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women. Blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women. Blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women. Blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women. Blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women. Blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women. Blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women. Blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women. Blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, as now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Oh, my Jesus. Forgive us our sins, save us from the fires of hell. Lead all souls to heaven, especially those most in need of thy mercy. Jesus doesn't just unite creatures to their creator. He also unites all creatures together with one another in himself. Again, we see that in the manger at Bethlehem, the strange and bewildering beauty of opposites unite. Angels come into the Christmas story along with beasts and a silent star. Mary and Joseph represent the supreme unity between spouses, between man and woman. And by being virginal parents, they also unite in themselves the opposite vocations of parenthood and celibacy. The shepherds represent the poor and the uneducated, but there they are side by side, worshiping with the rich, learned Magi. This is the beauty of the world God made and that Christ came to save, a world of differences, yet all united in a common recognition of God made man, Jesus. From now on, the true celebration of diversity will always reside in the Catholic Church, where the universality of the world and of humanity comes together to honor Christ. Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be your name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women. Blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, 
Pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women. Blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women. Blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women. Blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women. Blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women. Blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women. Blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death amen glory be to the father and to the son and to the holy spirit as it was in the beginning as now and ever shall be world without end amen oh my jesus forgive us our sins save us from the fires of hell lead all souls to heaven especially those most in need of thy mercy bethlehem is where we first see the mystery of the incarnation jesus christ fully god and fully man so the vocation of every Christian from now on will be to unite what is human with what is divine, to live fully at the natural level and at the supernatural level. We see this in the saints. Mother Teresa, with her service to the poor and her joyful smile, even as she underwent the spiritual battles of the dark night. Or St. Philip Neri, who was full of good humor and practical jokes, yet went into long ecstasies in prayer. Or St. John Bosco, who founded schools for boys and did magic tricks on the street, but was given many visions of divine secrets. Or St. Augustine, maybe the greatest genius who ever lived, an intellectual giant beyond compare, but one who was a convert whose spiritual self-examination would inspire people for more than 1,500 years. But we're called to the same thing. We're called to live these apparently opposite things, to be fully human and to pursue all the good human things of life of food and drink and friendships and family and achievements and truth and beauty. Yet, God has made it possible for us to share in his life, to become not only fully human, but also divine. This is crazy that we are called to be fully human and divine by sharing in God's life in Jesus. Fully human and divine. That's our calling. It's amazing. It's amazing. Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be your name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. 
Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women. Blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women. Blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women. Blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women. Blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women. Blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women. Blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women. Blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women. Blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women. Blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women. Blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, as now and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Oh, my Jesus. Forgive us our sins, save us from the fires of hell. Lead all souls to heaven, especially those most in need of thy mercy. It's also our job as followers of the Christ child to work at unifying all creation, to love the poor and to help them in their material danger, and to help the rich in their spiritual danger, to pray to our guardian angels and to be good stewards of the earth, to love our spouses and encourage vocations to celibacy in our families, to recognize the good in everyone and in every viewpoint, but also to recognize that no person and no position can ever be complete unless everyone is brought to lay themselves and their ideas and their achievements before Christ the newborn King. At the end, the message is pretty simple. Only Christ can unite everything. He unites God and humanity. He unites man and woman, rich and poor, angel and sheep, Jew and Gentile, learned and uneducated. So if we would share in this beauty, and if we would have others share in it, our task is equally simple. Keep close to Jesus in the Eucharist and prayer, lead others to him, and then be very grateful. Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be your name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women. Blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women. Blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women. Blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women. Blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, 
grief for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women. Blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women. Blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women. Blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women. Women, blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women. Blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women. Blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, Pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, <clears throat> as now and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Oh, my Jesus. Forgive us our sins, save us from the fires of hell. Lead all souls to heaven, especially those most in need of thy mercy. St. Michael the Archangel, defend, defend us in battle. battle. Be, be our protection against the wickedness and snares of the devil. devil. May God Lord, rebuke him, we humbly pray. pray. And do, do thou, O Prince, Prince of the Heavenly Host, by the power of God, cast into hell Satan and all the evil spirits who prowl throughout the world, seeking, seeking the ruin of souls. souls. In the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. So, Teresa, I saved this meditation where we're reflecting on the way that only Jesus can unite what is completely separated because many people are going to be entering into situations where they're going to have to be with people who have completely uh. separate ideas, separate lifestyles, views on religion and politics mm. and morality. And, and this can be a really stressful time. It's true. But I think that's why this meditation is even more poignant because there can be a beauty in friendships in which we disagree and finding the bridge between people but also life is kind of a, a story so you don't know where they're at in their story and the best stories are ones in which people travel a great distance to come to greatness okay so you've just hit on i want to give three strategies mm. three simple strategies to to deal with, be with people during the holiday season, however diverse and separate they are from, from you. And the first- Three strategies, run, <laughs> hide, and kill if you have to. How did you know? <laughs> first, I, I like what you said. With every person that you encounter during the Christmas season, first step, get to know their story. Mm -hmm. Maybe a lot of them, maybe some of them you've seen quite regularly. Maybe some of them you haven't seen at all for a year or longer. Get to know their story. Yeah. Because if you take the, the effort to get to know their story better, then what you're telling them is that you value them. Mm -hmm. Yeah. But I think it's very important that we have to approach these conversations not from how can I find out what you believe so I can no. disagree even harder? No. But just to understand. That's it. Get to know their story. Uh, what have they been doing since the last time? What's, what's most important to them? What's most on their mind? What are they most excited about? Just get to know their story. Mm -hmm. And then what the secondly, whatever good you find in there, delight in it and show them that you delight in it. And then thirdly, it's so common for people when you're talking with them like this, for them to share problems or difficulties they're wrestling with. Mm -hmm. This is a very important moment. When they share with you some problems, some difficulty, this is our moment to ask them, have you talked to God about this? 
Now, I would suggest, I would insist, don't do this in a group setting. Uh, do it when you're speaking with them individually. You might be off in a corner or sitting, just talking by yourselves. You don't do this in front of a group, but you ask them, this difficulty you shared with me, have you asked God about it? Have you talked with him directly? Have you asked him maybe what he wants you to do or uh, how he wants you to deal with it? Or have you just, have you talked with God directly about it? Almost inevitably, and even with people who you consider very spiritual, they haven't. They haven't. And they might even... They might even divulge to you privately. They don't know how. And that's a, that is the moment where you can do a couple of things. One, you can tell them, I will pray for you. But I can also share with you how you can pray on your own. And you can teach them very simply that all they need to do is that when they're by themselves... They just, all you have to do is just talk to God from your heart. That's all you have to do. But a lot of people don't know it's that simple because they've never been taught how to pray. Mm. Or for a lot of people, and this is what we've found over the years, especially Catholics, they're uncomfortable with this spontaneous prayer. But for some reason, they are willing to try the rosary. That's why we went to this whole rosary movement. <laughs> You know, I, I'm beginning to understand that more and more because it, it's a beautiful thing. But whenever we begin our meetings, we start in prayer and someone is asked to lead. And that terrifies me. I don't know what to do or say, but I'm very thankful for, uh, well, how would you class these, this kind of prayer? Rope prayers. Rope or, prayers. Yeah. Because I, it's something to rely upon. Obviously, we can all be meditating on our own separate things, but it's truly a gift to be able to just to just pray, especially aloud, and I don't even know how to classify most of it, but that's a true gift when you can lead others in prayer, and it's a good place to start to just start with rote prayers, because I need that reliance. I'm, I'm not gifted with words in that sense. Well, it is what Jesus started with when the apostles asked him, Lord, teach us to pray. He That's taught them true. the Our Father. Yeah. But this is, there's a there's a, an added power here. <clears throat> if you will pay attention, listen to a person's difficulty or problem, tell them that you will pray for them. Ask them if they have talked to God about this, brought this to God. And if they somehow indicate that they don't know how, uh, share with them how, whether through just talking to God from the heart or in encouraging, suggesting the rosary. But now here's the, the added secret power. When you take the step to teach another person how to pray, your own faith will really grow. And you will grow. So everybody benefits. So, I don't know. What do you what do you think about this suggestion, Teresa, during to really encourage people to do this? I think it's a good suggestion with one warning. And that is, you cannot say it casually. You have to, I think it has to be a very uh, intimate conversation maybe requires some level of vulnerability, certainly requires trust, but it's there's a very fine line where you don't want to walk in and just say, oh, you have big problems. You've never prayed before. Pray about it. And then you walk away or, oh, I'll pray for you. And then people get so used to hearing kind of the shrugging it off sound of prayer. And you need to put the emphasis behind prayer, the weight behind it. Uh, show them, Show them the meaning and the power but you, you can't be very casual about it. Yeah, it takes a genuineness. Mm -hmm. What what word would you use? Um, yeah, a, a genuineness. It, it needs to be impactful. Yeah. Shouldn't be offhanded. 
And then if that doesn't work, you can resort to what you said earlier. Violence. Violence. <laughs> <laughs> you can, fun fact, you, you can actually always resort to violence. It won't necessarily solve any problems, but you can always resort to it. Now people know our true <laughs> personality and nature. This is why you like hockey. Because <laughs> at least in hockey, you can always resort you to can, violence. That's true. It's like, uh, oh, I can't remember what year. It was in the 80s. It was the punch-up in Piescini where the Russians knew they couldn't win. So they just started fighting every team they played. And they would get disqualified, but so would the other team. So they couldn't win gold either. <laughs> <laughs> so I really encourage everyone out there, be empathetic, be genuine, talk to them about prayer. And if that doesn't work, you know, just start a punch up. <laughs> <laughs> just duel them for it. You've got to honor a duel. <laughs> it's good that we can always bring this back to hockey. Uh, it is good. We've done that once or twice recently. So You know, we got to find somebody out there who's praying with us, who will who will get us to a Bruins game. There's got to be somebody out there who can get us to a Bruins game. I feel like if, if you tried hard enough, we could get to a Bruins game. You know, but I'm, I'm putting this on you. I'm not the, the, you know, you're the famous one. If you wanted, you know, if you asked, mm. Teresa, have you asked our listeners to get you to a Bruins game? No, but maybe I should talk to God about it. <laughs> I think you should talk to our listeners. I, I had a. I don't tragic... God. I don't think God has Bruins tickets. I I bet he could. If if yeah, I've, it's all is within God's power. But I I had a very sad, tragic. I bought myself alone, just me, front row tickets to a Bruins game when they were in St. Louis. I had seats right behind the Bruins bench, and I was so excited. It was really expensive. I saved up for it. I was going alone to this game. That's how determined I was and it was the week that every game started to be canceled because of COVID and it is still my my lifelong objective to get to a Bruins game after that you should talk to God about that I'll talk to God about it thanks for the conversation thank you let's be apostles of friendship good conversation and the rosary share this with others If you like this, join us on our app. You'll find the link below.